Hi, Erwan from Motion VFX. In this video, we will learn how to composite various elements to create atmospheric effects in a shot. Let's see the final result. Motion VFX is well known for the plugins and amazing templates, but Motion VFX also provides a lot of compositing elements. On the Motion VFX website, you can find various packs of fog, dust, fire, smoke, sparks elements, and much more. Each pack has its own dedicated page with all the information you need. The good news with compositing elements is that you can use them with all the compositing software like Nuke, DaVinci Resolve, After Effects, Final Cut Pro 10, Motion 5, and many more. For this project, I will use Motion 5 to composite my elements. First, I will need to import my shot. I will click on the Import as Project button as it will create the project settings based on my shot. In Motion, I can check the properties of the project, 1080p at 24 frames per second, First, I will rename the group of my clip and name it Background. I will start by adding some brightness inside the windows. To do so, I will apply a basic glow effects from Motion. So inside the library, in the filters group, I will get the glow section and add the basic glow to my shot. In the inspector, I will adjust the parameters in order to boost the luminance, but not too much. Also, it will create a nice effect with a neon light on the right part. Let's create a new group. I will name it Compositing Elements. So I will go to the Finder and look at my footage from various Compositing Element packs. I've got various packs like MFOG, MDUST4K and MSMOKE4K. Inside each folder, I've got 50 items. I can preview them. I've already done a selection, so I will get this one. I will drag and drop it inside my project. First thing first, with the compositing element, you will need to adjust the blending mode. So in the inspector, in the properties tab, you can switch to add, lighten or screen. Screen mode is the best choice for this kind of effects. It's great, but as you can see, my background video has some camera's motion and the fog doesn't follow at all. So in order to get a perfect integration, I will match the camera motion from the background with the fog layer. To do this, I will need to add a motion tracking behavior. I will use a match move behavior and add it not to my shot, but to the group. It will be very useful later when I will add some other element inside the group. By default, the match move behavior adds the right reference layer to track. I want to add some atmospheric effects in the back of the room around the second car. So I will track the car in order to get the right overall effect. and press the Analyze button. Okay, it's done. Let's check the result. Perfect, the fog sticks now perfectly with the background video. It is nice, but I would like that the fog effect is only present on the back of the room, behind the mechanic and the first car. So I will create a new group and name it Front Element. I will duplicate my background video and move it inside my Front Element group. I will add a mask on my video to keep only the right part of the frame with the mechanic. I will select the B-spline mask as it will create a more rounded organic shape. I will zoom out a little bit and draw the mask. I can adjust the shape. I will adjust the feather parameter to create a nice transition between the front and the back. With a slider, you are limited to 100 for the value, but if you click directly inside the value, you can go beyond this limit and get a smoother transition. Mm -hmm. 
In order to be consistent, I will also track the mask so it will follow perfectly the motion of the camera. This time I will track a point near the mechanic to get the right motion. Perfect, my mask is following the camera. Let's redo the same technique for the car on the left. So I will duplicate one more time my background video and drag it to the front elements group. I will rename the two elements. For the car, I will use the Bezier mask as I will need straight lines but also curves to cut out the car. I will need also to track the mask. I will use the back of the car as a reference for the track. I will need to modify one point to add a curve, like that. It is almost good. I will come back later on the mask to refine the points and the tracking with the final effects. I will quickly adjust the feather. I will select the glow filter and I will push the value. It will create a nice glow effect around the car and it will help a lot for the integration. Okay, we are good. Let's see how we can stylize the fog now. So I will go back to the compositing elements group and select my fog layer. First, I would like to add some contrast in order to get more density. So in the library, in the color category, I will add the contrast filter. I will play with the contrast value and the pivot parameter, like this. Perfect. Now I would like to create some interaction between the window and the fog. To do so, I will add a light rays effect that you can find in the glow category. You can select the center of the effect, so I will put it on the window. By adjusting the amount parameter and the glow parameter, you can create a nice natural effect. Then I need to modify the color of the fog as the background is bluish, so I will use a colorized effect. By default, the whites are changed to orange. I would change the value for light blue. That's great, but let's add some particle inside the fog. In the finder, I select from the MDust 4K pack some dust particles. And add it to my compositing elements group. Of course, you will also need to change the blending mode to screen. I will reduce the opacity parameter. I will apply the same colorized effect as the fog to be consistent. As it is a 4K footage, I can zoom inside without losing any resolution and I can move the layer around to get the right position. This is nice, but to finalize the effect, we need to add some fog also above all the layers.
So I will create a new group named top. I will add a new fog layer in it. I will switch to screen for the blending mode. I will quickly track the layer by selecting a track reference on the wall on the right part of the screen. I will move the match move effect to the group as I would like to add some dust element too. I will get this footage and switch to screen mode. I will reduce the opacity value and colorize the dust particle. Now I've got all my effects, so I can go back to the car and quickly animate some points to the mask to get a perfect cutout. Here, a before and after. As you can see, compositing elements are very versatile. Of course, you can just add it and change the blending mode, but also you can track them and add effects to create a nice integration with your backgrounds. For more information, one address, motionvfx.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the Motion VFX YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao. Bye bye.